So y'all, what's up? Where have I been? Welcome back to my channel. Don't pay with it, don't be the size. Still not understand. Thanks for clicking on the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. So y'all, what's up? Where have I been? If you like what you see here, subscribe. Stay a while. Like the video. Share with your friends. Comment down below. Let's get into this video. Okay, so I have some notes because I don't want to get off track. I want to stay focused because I want to kind of fill you guys in on where I am, where I've been, and what I've been doing, and where I'm going from here. It is smoking hot in Texas. I think I'm going to let the windows up. Okay, I am back. So I had to cut the air on because let me back y'all out a little bit, girl. Because this y'all was a little bit too close. It was a little too up and close and personal. Like, this is going to be a personal video, but y'all were just way too personal. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I had to cut the air on because I was burning. Like, I was melting. Um, I was, like sweating all at the seams all in the crevices in everything okay so i got the air going i hope it's not too loud i'm gonna talk up um because i want y'all to be able to hear me all right um so where have i been um i started my weight loss journey i was walking every day i was doing good i was getting the weight off the weight was coming off um i was eating right meal prepping all of the above everything was going great um i started having hip pain uh, pause a little backstory. I have sciatica I have uh, two herniated discs in my lower back that's a little history I've been receiving in the past cortisone injections in my lower back I've received chiropractic care my lower back pain control is um, okay for now it's manageable it's under control I've been pretty good with my back Needless to say, I've been dealing with that. That has not been an issue for me in a long time. I think I posted a video a little bit ago where I was having some hip issues. When I started being consistent with the walking and the moving, I started having some discomfort in my hip. My son bought me a new pair of shoes um, because he said that he could tell when we were walking one time that my walk was a little off so he got me this pair of new shoes those shoes literally changed my life I wear those shoes every time I'm walking exercising whatever I'm doing physical if I know I'm gonna do a lot of walking I'm wearing those shoes because they help me um, so that's that fast forward most recently within the past month and a half well i will say i have been having wrists in my left wrist on and off for probably i think i would say maybe like a year or two numbness tingling in my wrist my job is a desk job computer typing i'm a certified medical coder so i've been doing that for over 10 years probably about 15 years now and before that I did clerical work I was a secretary so I know carpal tunnel is a thing when you're doing repetitive typing computer work so I self-diagnosed myself do not do that people because you may think you know your body but a lot of things happen and you may think you know when you're not a doctor you're not a medical profession and a lot of times nine times out of ten you're probably going to be wrong when you think you know something you really don't know um so i had been having these issues increasing numbness tingling pain in my wrist in my hand it had started to radiate from my shoulder my elbow all the way down my arm I scheduled an appointment with my orthopedic surgeon who repaired my carpal tunnel because I did have carpal tunnel in my right wrist years ago. So me, self-diagnosing myself because I know, I know it's carpal tunnel. Surely it is. Schedule an appointment. Doc 
It's carpal tunnel. I know what it is. Go on, hook your girl up. What I need to do, do the test, what need to be done. Bada bing, bada boom. Get set surgery done. We set up, knock it out, boom, I'm done. So I got to explain it to him what was going on. He did an x-ray of my wrist and my neck. He comes back, he says, okay, well, we're gonna do a nerve test and I wanna do an MRI first before I can confirm. But from my exam and from the x-ray that I did in the office, I'm not too sure if it's carpal tunnel. What? What are you talking about? He says, I'm not sure that's carpal tunnel because your neck, there's some um, abnormalities in your neck. You have three discs in your neck. First of all, you have arthritis. You have degenerative jo joint disease, which is osteoarthritis in your neck. That is all throughout your neck. That's number one. Secondly, there's some disc changes where the spaces um, between your cervical spine. So he's like, um, I want to get an MRI. I want to get a nerve test because you could have some nerve damage. You could have some impingement, which could be causing the numbness in your arm, which could be going down to your hand. So I get the uh, nerve test done and the MRI done. It does show on the MRI that I have three, two out of three discs in my neck, my cervical spine are uh, herniated, which is causing the numbness, the tingling, the weakness in my hand from my, sh from my neck, my shoulder, all the way down to my fingers. Um, I do not have carpal tunnel, so it's not what I thought it was. What I was so sure that it was. So now I'm in a holding pattern. I go see a neck specialist to decide one of three things. If I do therapy and um, chiropractic therapy, injections, or possibly surgery. I see the specialist to let him look at everything and get his opinion on what he thinks is best and what I should do and then go from there. I cannot lift weights. I cannot do push-ups, planks, pull-ups, anything to cause strain or tension or stress on my neck. I'm currently in a process of reducing inflammation in my neck because there was a significant amount of inflammation. I am currently on steroids at this current time. Right now, he ordered me a... Uh, prednisone. So, so I'm taking steroids right now. And then I asked him about an anti-inflammatory diet. So I did purchase a diet, a, a book off Amazon. Someone else here. Oh girl, knock them glasses off. Talk with my hands, just knock the glasses off with them. Uh, I saw someone on YouTube. I did my research on it. Um, and so it's a diet book. I've been reading it. Recipe. Oh, I, did I have? Did I bring it? No, I didn't bring it with me. But I'll put the link because I'm trying to see if I can change my diet to help reduce inflammation. Because there are some foods he did say. My doctor did confirm. My orthopedic surgeon did say that there are some foods that will increase inflammation in your body. So I'm trying to go that route as well. How can I combat from the inside? while I'm waiting to see this neck specialist. So right now, do I quit working out? What do I quit? What do I stop? What do I do? I don't know. Um, so right now, I'm still gonna be walking. I'm changing my diet. I want to talk a little about, bit about how I've been feeling mentally because I kinda just stopped everything. I got into this state of oh woe is me like why me like why like I feel like <laughs> like dang I take one two three steps forward and then I get knocked back 
like a whole 12 steps like bro come on like i can't win i feel like i can't win like i can't get ahead i feel like i can't catch a break i just like i'll be 47 this year on my birthday in september and i just keep thinking like i'm trying to for once be consistent be dedicated and like get my mind right and be healthy and break these cycles of just inconsistency and keeping a promise to myself and then it's like then this now what i'm like god like come on what what are you what are you trying to what is it what is it what is it that you want me to see what is it that you want me to do what is it with that with the diet the continue to move continue to walking i am being more intentional with god because i feel like he's like stop trying to figure stuff out on your own like stop trying to do it yourself this my job let me do my job stop trying to think you control everything when you don't you don't know everything just like with my body i just knew i knew oh i went in there like girl i i know it's carpal tunnel baby don't don't set me up for this release for this carpal tunnel release surgery get me booked i know what i was doing and i feel like it's god's like way of saying daughter I am your father. I know what's best for you. I know the plans that I have for your life. Stop thinking you know everything. Sit your butt down somewhere. Do what I tell you to do. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Follow. Do what I want you to do. I'm trying to give you some direction, but you don't want to listen. You keep thinking you know. So I'm I'm in this place where I'm like, okay, God. I'm going to I'm going to follow your direction. I'm going to follow your plan. I'm going to stop. I'm going to I'm going to follow. I'm going to listen. So I'm in this being still state. I do still feel the the push to eat better and to walk. Cuz when I walk, y'all, I feel so much peace and so much clarity and it's like I hear him better. I no joke no joke and 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 like i'm not just saying this like this real when i walk i put my headphones on i have my music going and it's like i have conversations we it's like we we have a real connection and so i feel like whether it be on the treadmill or i'm outside and so it's like i feel like he's like okay that's my time that's what i want you to do so I'm going to continue to do that, whether it be inside or outside. And then I'm going to be very uh, mindful of what I put in my body. What I consume as far as what I watch, what I listen to, the people that I'm around. Um, be mindful and intentional. And if it brings me joy, brings me peace. So I, I'm in a listening and I'm in a still state. I started this YouTube thing for my family to share memories. It, you know, the backstory on this, let me just say, as I digress, this whole YouTube thing started because my grandmother had dementia. My grandmother was my best friend. How dementia affect, affected and changed my entire life, my entire being, my, my entire soul. Um, watching my grandmother go through that uh, she she went through and literally changed and there was times where seeing her go through and fight through dementia there was days she knew me days she didn't so long story short I'll do a whole nother thing on the whole dementia thing because I've been wanting to talk about that memory keeping uh, dementia um, documenting that's just been a part of me that's just what I do. I take a picture, take pictures, video, document, journal, everything, everybody. If you're in my life and I want to record and keep something, you best believe I got you. <laughs> um, I do ask for permission, but I got you. Um, 
but it was just because I just wanted to capture every precious moment because there was a time where she couldn't remember any of it. And so that was my inspiration for documenting and recording everything and posting it to YouTube to have somewhere where my family could go back and show it to me one day or show it to they can go back and watch it one day then it just kind of shifted and turned into a whole health thing and then people just was encouraged i had family i had friends from church like i see you i see you doing good you're encouraging me to walk you're encouraging me to eat better i love your meals you're doing i love this and i love that and then things just kind of start happening with me with my health and and I kind of just started falling into this rut for feeling sorry for myself and feeling like you know down on myself like why am I going through this why and you know I'm in so much pain I'm having all these issues feeling bad like God why and questioning God you know and so and I just kind of backed off on, you know, I was still re recording some stuff and still doing some stuff, you know, then it's like my son, my, you know, my oldest is gone. Then my middle son graduated. He went to college. He left the house. You know, that hit me emotional. So I'm going through, you know, body changes, chronic pain. Um, I had another kid leaving the nest and I'm going through this state of this different season where kids are leaving the house and I'm like okay what do I do they don't need me as much you know now Madison's getting ready to go to high school you know I got one more kid at home and it's kind of like things are shifting and I'm, I'm at a different stage in my life um you're getting older your parents are getting older it's just a lot it, it was just a lot it seemed like I'm it, it's all happening so fast and so I'm just trying to figure out where where my place is and what am I supposed to be doing with myself and and instead of trying to figure it out because I'm always so used to figuring out figuring it out because uh, you know I think I've said this before I've dubbed myself as the fixer <laughs> and I'm figure things out I don't think that's my job I keep hearing God say that's not your job that's my job let me do that I, I I feel like I am I'm hearing I'm hearing him I want to be in a place where I'm hearing him more and listening to him more and I am being still and being present and locked in um, so he can give me direction on what I'm supposed to be doing. So do I quit? I've been constantly asking myself, do I quit YouTube? Do I quit recording? Um, do I just stop working out all together till I figure out what I'm going to do with my body, my surgery? Would, you know, am I going to have surgery, you know, and get it together, take it easy? Do I quit? What do I do? And all I keep hearing loud and clear in my ear is no you crazy no 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 we're not quitters <laughs> i ain't no quitter i tell my kids we don't quit that's not what we do that's not what we do so i'm gonna keep fighting i'm gonna keep fighting whatever that looks like so i hope that um i can share with you guys what i'm doing and how I how I manage this and how I grow and how I improve. I show up more for myself. I appreciate y'all. I really do. It's 300 of y'all. Like, thank you. I never in a million years, I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, I truly do. Um, so I want to show up for y'all. You you subscribe for a reason. Whatever you whatever reason you subscribe for, I appreciate you. Um so my plan is to not quit, to keep going, to keep fighting, whatever that looks like. And I just hope you wanna see what that looks like <laughs> with me. <laughs> Cause heck, right now I don't know what that look like, y'all. I'm I'm just I'm winging it out here in these streets baby i'm winging it lord jesus every day something new i'm winging it out here in these streets um for real so 
I ain't gonna hold y'all because I've been really talking. I think, woo, 22 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut this down, baby. Um, so yeah, hope I can work on this diet. I'll show you the book, um, the, the anti inflammatory diet. I'll put the link. I bought it on Amazon. I'm gonna start some meal preps, some recipes from the book. It has meal plans in there, it has a recipe, it has a whole meal plan in there. And I think I'm gonna try their meal plan from that. I'm gonna try that that plan that they have anyway i'm out thank y'all for watching if y'all are if anybody you know has dealt with anything like this let me know y'all let me know what you did let me know um if you had surgery on your neck like your neck is so that's like i don't know i get nervous going to the chiropractor when they pop my pop my neck it's heavy it's heavy to wake up in constant pain every single day it's heavy it's not funny i uh, try to make light of it because if i sit in my space it's not good um so i'm trying to anyway i'm moving on from that because i don't want to i don't like staying in that space so that's why i like to laugh it off and be make fun of stuff and kind of like make light of it because i don't like to stay in that sad space and feeling sorry for myself um but yeah if y'all know somebody um that know somebody that know somebody <laughs> that has had something like this what did y'all do did y'all get the shots did you have surgery you just walk around you just in pain you just take pain pills. i don't like taking pain pills I don't, i'm not i'm not trying to do that i don't want to be sitting around fiending trying to look for no pain pills either it's crazy this is crazy i'm out of here y'all for the last time because I, I i talk for days and then i end up crying so y'all like comment and subscribe please leave a comment let me know what brought you here what brought you here what made you subscribe what made you stay um and what brings you back why you keep coming back y'all why you keep coming back girl girl or guy what why you keep coming back um but i appreciate you guys thank you